I never thought this would ever happen in a million years. The world's leading Muslim country, the one and only Saudi Arabia, aka the desert, have finally decided to start selling alcohol for the first time in 72 years. That is seven decades. Over seven decades. That's it. probably me and you, more likely me and you were never born. I'm only 30. And me and you were even, even, ever even born. You understand? For the 70, 72 years. So what does that mean in that? Do you understand? Because as you're aware that, man, Saudi Arabia is the, the, all the focus is on pleasure entertainment. So that's where you see the board of sports, tennis, tennis, football, you know, you can see all the crazy transfers. Also, boxing, they brought out boxing. You can see all the, all the big fights going on right now. You know, you got Fury, Usyk in February. You got Joshua against Ngannou, Ngannou in March. And the list goes on and on. And I see what happened in December as well, you know, just the day of reckoning as well. So they bought up boxing and that they're building uh, big buildings, just stand, and they got and they want to look to host uh, uh, events. They're doing concerts down there as well, you know. So with that, all that, all that, yeah, I really, I think about, it, I'm really surprised that Saudi Arabia um, have uh, what you call it gone this path. No, really, because they have allowed tourism, and now of course they gonna be offers a lot of offers coming through, and they'll be like, yo. <laughs> we drop you 100 million for us to that to sell to start uh, uh, so we get more money so again i say more uh, more money is uh, when you get money you get to push so much power that you can end up abusing it so because now the devil is got in between in between it now guess what now we're going to ask there's the serious issue going to happen now because now they've broken the laws of islam so we as a muslim we don't we don't uh it's prohibited to consume alcohol now because what i think about it, it makes complete, complete sense god doesn't want you drunk god doesn't want you to uh where you could not to be yourself god doesn't want you to um where you could to mess up your liver your heart your kidney you understand God also make you to, to, to lose your mind and that, and you do something, you do something you shouldn't be doing and that, and other entities take, take, take it over your body. The alcohol is the, alcohol is the, is the, uh, drink of the devil. Because when you drink it, you're not yourself no more. It doesn't matter, it don't matter how, how strong you are, <laughs> how bulletproof you are mentally, you when you drink alcohol to a point where you are going drunk, just now, you're going to be blackout, you know what you're going to do. So, they're making a loss. Of course, they're sold out. So they sold out to the West. They sold out. This alcohol drinking and drugs, this all come from the West. And now they've, uh, they've uh, now they've, uh, now they've entered into, now they've imp implemented into their society. So that's a major issue. You understand? So Saudi Arabia, they finished, they sold out. But anyway, let's get to the real issue though. Is I'm going to show in this video how to overcome alcohol addiction. I break it down step by step. Well, it's one of the biggest issues in society today is alcohol. And people got various reasons why they consume alcohol, you know, to satisfy the short term gratification, to, to satisfy the ego, and other problems as well. You know what I'm saying? Before I start it though, please break the algorithm by smashing that like button, uh, share the video, comment, and subscribe, and check the, link in, check, the, check the links below. So let's break it down. So, how to consume alcohol, the drink of the devil. Yes, and of course, let's, let me go emphasize, uh, emphasize quickly on the, the issues of alcohol. Like, it's the way you call it. When you, when you, when you drink alcohol, it's the way you drink it's full of poison. They got the kind of mouth ingredients in there. Just that it's not good for you. Just that. It, it, it makes you to be obese, you know, overweight. It may cause, cause uh, kidney issues, heart issues, you know what I'm saying to you. Uh, you, you, you can cause, you can cause violence, just that. You can cause violence, uh, fight, all sorts. There's endless amount of issues that alcohol causes, just that. All it does harm, no good in that. You might get high in a moment, ha ha, you're laughing, uh, just that. You're all hype in a moment, and that. But the one that goes away, when it goes away, then you crash. Then you crash and that. You'd be like, yo, what the fuck? Is that <laughs> just stand? You wake up and uh, what happened? Just stand. You wake up probably just lying in the street somewhere. Just stand. You wake up probably in the hospital. Just that's what it does. And uh, it takes away your reasoning power away from you. It takes away your fuel away from you. And uh, and the devil's controlling you. 
That's what you're doing to yourself right? when you drink all when you drink alcohol and that. You know what I mean? But 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 doing it in a uh, when I mean um doing it uh, messing around but putting it in, into a club, like I mean, as I say in when you're in a club, you uh spray bottles, all of that. That's what you're doing to yourself and that. Do you understand? It's probably what's in the air that yo, 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 you want a man and that, but you are subtracting yourself. Do you understand? You get you get further away from God and that. Do you understand? So uh, let's make it down. So, I ask, so first and foremost is ask God for forgiveness. I don't know what you're believing, whether you're a Jew, you're a Christian, you're a Muslim. You know what I mean? There's many religions out there in the world and that. But whether that you believe in that, God asks you, ask the, your God for your full forgiveness and that. Just for the sins that you committed. But go get that on your knees and that and, and pray in that. Jesus, just that he said, you understand? He said, uh, I pray to the Lord. That's what he said in the Bible and that. You understand? So, Pray to your pray to your Lord and ask Him for forgiveness and that and just stand with this, the sin that you've committed, medicine that you committed and that because you're destroying what He has given you. That's where you are where today, where you are today because it's, it's giving all this now. He gave you two arms, legs, kidney, all these things and that function so you can to live the, uh, to live your life just stand at the at the highest level. Uh, but you are destroying it. Just stand so. Ask God for forgiveness to you sincerely, generally, just and He will guide you to the right path. People, friends and family, God will help you so much, but you have to go to God and that to guide you to the righteous, to guide you to the righteous path for that. Just stand and live consciously. So that's number one on that. You can go to go to a mosque, you can go to a church, wherever you go, suit what to do that. You can be comfy on home, get on your knees and pray, just stand, and then He will give you, show you the light tonight to get out from the darkness into the light. So that's now, now you understand. And now I'm going to two, yeah? So what the purpose is, why do you want to quit? You can't say just, I want to quit alcohol. That is not a valid reason. That, that doesn't, does that make you a, the, the head, the back of your neck stand up? No, it doesn't. Does it make you excited? Does that give you, does it spark you? No, it doesn't. But it's in fact, it's got no substance. I just want to quit alcohol. I just want to, uh, I, I want to quit this, quit that. No. So why do you want to quit tonight? You want to quit yeah, because of your health reason. You quit because uh, to get close to God. You want to quit because of religious beliefs. You want to quit your sex, I'm to your family. What's the valid? Those, those are valid reasons. So what's the reason? When you know that, then that's what's going to back in your mind. And anytime like any temptations comes up and that, you're thinking back and yo, if I do this, I'm going to get my friends, my family down. I'm going to get, I'm going to let God down. I'm going to get society down. I'm going to let myself down. The, the devil, the devil is going to is, is going to control me now. Just like God, the devil is uh, uh, guiding me to the right uh, to the own right path. When you got that into when you have that into your mind, then you think twice before you execute. Before you gonna pick up that drink and drink it, you know, and get lost in the moment. But you know, you know, but the consequence is not the consequence is so high. It overpowers the overpowers the the negativity, the the positivity. But only people, but they get high in the moment. You can, you can put a positive, if that is even positive. But then you crash. You understand? So why do you want to quit? Define that, write that down on paper. I want to get write that down on paper. I was going for forgiveness, write that down. As why do you want to quit, write that down. Write that strong reason as possible. You understand? The, the, the next thing is that identify the root of the problem. You understand? So where did the problem come from? Has your girlfriend, has your um, wife left you? They have you broken up on that because a lot, a lot of men, especially, they're hurt and down bad. From my experience, and men when they when they break up, break up with a, with a woman, they are down, they're angry, they're, they're stressed, they're not themselves, they're depressed, they don't want to do anything, they're not motivated. You know what I'm saying to you? Uh, they don't want mask themselves. That's with men and that when uh, when they have broken up with women. So what what is the issue? What's the cause and effect? Is it a uh, boredom? It's because you got no purpose in life. You don't know the meaning of life. You don't know what to, what when you came on this earth. What what you supposed to be doing? Just stand. Like, are, do you believe? Don't you, don't you believe in anything? You don't believe this. You you, you think like when you came on of an accident, everything happened to you. Life is an accident. Is that what you believe in? What is the sole reason in that? You stand calling for. And and then for, if you are, I can give you a few examples. Just stand. Like when you're bored, when you are, for example, bored, you need to find things to do in that. It's any smart things to do in that. You can't say, I've got nothing to do. That's impossible. You choose to, you, you choose to not, uh, what you call it, not to do for something in your life and that. You understand? But any smart things can do. You can read. You can learn a skill. You can go, uh, you can go work for a company. You can, uh, you can work out. Just stand. You can learn a new language. 
there's so many endless amount of things you can do in that. Like it doesn't even fit in 24 hours. You understand? So identify the root of the problem in that. And then, and then when you could, when you found that, write that down and find a okay solution or where you can go. I gotta tell you uh, uh, something in general, but that's not the point though. You have to define what solution is in that. What the solution is in my, obviously, you got any, if you uh, want me to guide you further, just DM, on, uh, DM me on uh, Instagram, just that, and I'll get back to you now. But you, you, you decide what the blueprint for you is to quit, to, uh, to quit, overcome this, uh, this addiction. Yeah, get it. So now we're going to the next point here. Obviously, create a plan. Create a plan of uh, what you're going to do, whether it's boredom or somebody broke your heart, you know, or it's a financial issues, what you need to do uh, to overcome it. But realizing that you have to understand that everything's in your power. You are because you're the master, you're the captain of the ship, master of your fate. So you've got, God gave you free will in order for you uh, to go, uh, to, to, to uh, do something with your life or don't do anything with your life. So you've got the power. So you have to, um, use uh, use that power to uh, to use that power for the greater of your own good. You get it. So create a plan, stick to it, and and see all the way through to the end. They all because they all up scores, they all up scores, traumas, and that. Just done. You can't fuck up, but you've got a lesson before you to get a blessing. So. Once you, once you understand that, you have to be persistent, be consistent, never give up the fight, don't give up on yourself, don't give up on God, then you will, uh, you will overcome this addiction. You understand? It's only a matter of time and that. You know what I mean? But anything, to achieve anything of significance in that, you have to understand that there will be trauma, there will be uh, gain deal pain, but the pain and trauma is going to turn it into a person, a brand new person. You understand? You, may, you can be, become stronger mentally, you got some character, some goal drive. You understand? And now, where you could, the best alternative you can have, the last point, is the best alternative you can have compared to alcohol. You see, to quit something, you have to have an alternative. <laughs> Without no alternative, you're going to go back to the same thing and that. Do you get it? You have something to counteract it. So, that's where you need the best alternative. So, what is the alternative to that? The alternative is uh, start taking care of yourself. Start working out. So working out, this can be 10k walking, this can be uh, running, this can be uh, bodybuilding, this can be uh, crossfit, there's so many things you can do. This can be your favorite sport that you like to do. Go and express yourself physically in that, just stand. Just that will give you, uh, you'll feel great, just that uh, you look great, you'll feel great, just that uh, it's great for your mental health and it's great to purify yourself for that. But anything that's gone through your life, you have to purify yourself. That's what I personally love working out. It purifies, purifies your, um, you purify yourself for that, just done. Um, my next point is, um, what you call it? Um, it's working out, eating healthy. Eating healthy, man, just done. So your whole foods, fruits, veg, nuts, seeds, all these foods and that. That's gonna make you feel good. And uh, if, if you're talking about the real high, that is not going to give you a real high in that. Because you're full of energy, enthusiasm, you stand, you feel good, you look good. And, uh, and, and what else can you ask for? You know, what, what more can you ask for in that? So start doing that. Start, what, what you can start doing as well is start uh, uh, where you make sure that you separate, separate as you sleep. So it hours every single day. When you wake up, when you have the good sleep, you feel fresh, you feel rejuvenated, you feel good. You get it? Next thing you can do as well is start meditating. This a few minutes a day. If you need to meditation, this a few minutes a day. Just stand. Or oh, one minute. Just sit there, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. You feel you can be calm. You can feel calm. You can feel relaxed. You know what I mean? And you're able to, uh, where you call it, then do whatever you're supposed to do, whatever you need to get on with. You know what I'm saying to you? So all these positive, ha I, I didn't positive habits to your life. You know what I mean? And you get a feel good mentally, physically, spiritually. Just stand. And then, that's it. Over a period of time, uh, you overcome this addiction and that. You understand? It can be in a short period of time or it can take a little bit longer. Everybody, uh, everybody uh, moves at their own pace. Everybody's on their own journey. So that's the best alternative you can have on that. So I hope this video really helped you now on a, on a, on a path to overcome alcohol addiction and that. Yes, that's one of the biggest problems in society today and that, which leads to countless amount of problems and that. You know what I mean? So that being said, and I hope, I hope this video brought you value. And if it did, then smash that like button, comment down below. And if you want, if you want to, um, if you want a guidance to help you become the greatest version of yourself to fulfill your potential, 
to make a, a positive impact in your community, into the world. You know what I mean? From uh, go mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, then feel free to join the Infinite Potential community. That's the link. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.